Today I'm cooking fish and chips, which is tender fish fillet coated in a thin crisp batter, served with french fries and homemade tata sauce. It is fresh, singy, and very delicious. This recipe is for two servings. Let's start off with making a tartar sauce. In a mixing bowl, add 200 grams of mayonnaise, 1 over 8 teaspoon of salt, 1 over 8 teaspoon of pepper, half teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 2 teaspoon of lemon juice, 10 grams of chopped capers, 10 grams of chopped dills, 5 grams of chopped parsley, 3 grams of lemon zest, which is from half a lemon, and 2 teaspoons of yellow mustard. Mix with a hand whisk until well combined. Taste and add more seasoning if preferred. For me, it has enough sourness and savouriness. Transfer into an airtight container and leave it in the fridge. This can be kept for a few days. Let's prepare the oil for deep frying. Put the wok on the stove, switch on the heat to medium, add 500 grams of cooking oil and let it heat up. This take around 8 minutes. Meanwhile, cut some lemons into wedges to serve with the fish. Remove the seed if they are present. Leave aside. Next, cut the fish fillet into half. This is optional as my fish pieces are too long for my serving plates. Pat dry with kitchen towel on both sides to extract as much moisture as possible in the fish. Sprinkle 1 teaspoon of salt over the fish on the top for all 4 pieces. Pat them to distribute the salt evenly. Turn the fish to the other side and repeat. Leave it aside. Let's make the flour better. I have 120 grams of homemade crispy flour here. Set aside 60 grams of dry crispy flour on a plate and leave aside. Next, pour the rest or 60 grams of crispy flour into a mixing bowl. Add half teaspoon of cayenne pepper for a light spice, which is optional, and a pinch of salt. Only a very small amount is used as the fish is already salted. Mix until combined. Add 25 ml of cold water and mix. I am adding water bit by bit to prevent the batter from becoming too thin. As it is still too thick, add in another 25 ml of cold water and stir to mix again. Now the flour batter is coming together but it's still slightly thick. Add in about 10 ml of water and stir to mix again. Now it is thin and drop easily from the spoon. This is the right consistency for our tin batter. Let's go and fry it. Dip a pair of wooden cooking chopsticks into the hot oil. Bubbles will form if the oil is ready for deep frying. Take a fish fillet piece and coat it with dry crispy flour evenly. Then, dip it in the wet flour batter until fully covered. Gently submerge it in the hot oil. Food tong can also be used to carefully add the fish to avoid sudden oil splashes. Repeat the step with the rest of the fillets, coating them in a dry flour. 
then wet flour. before adding them to the oil. As my frying wok is quite big, I can add all four pieces at once. If the wok is too small, I recommend frying them in batches. Please avoid overlapping the fish or they will get stuck together while frying. In the case that they are stuck to each other, separate them with a spatula or cooking chopstick. Let them fry for 5 minutes or until fully cooked and brown on one side. Then turn and rotate the fish to the other side. Fry them for 5 more minutes for even cooking or until fully golden brown. After 10 minutes, the fish looks so crispy and golden brown. Remove them from the hot oil with a strainer to drip off the oil. Place them on a cooling rack. Remove and discard all the flour droplets with a fine mesh strainer from the oil. Pour about 350 grams of frozen french fry into the strainer and gently add them into the hot oil. Avoid pouring them directly from the packet as the ice crystal may cause hot oil splashes. Once the french fry are in the hot oil, do not stir or move them until all the moisture has escaped. This take around 4 to 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, stir continuously for 3 to 4 minutes for even cooking until very crispy and golden brown. Look, the color is getting darker and they are well cooked. Remove them from the hot oil with a strainer. Shaking off the excess oil. Switch off the heat. Place them on an oil absorbent paper or kitchen towel to absorb the excess oil. Sprinkle some salt and toss a little to spread it evenly. Alright, let's assemble our fish and chips. Place the fish fillet on a dinner plate. Add some french fry and the tartar sauce on the side. Decorate with one or two lemon wedges and we are done. Let's eat! Wow, it's very delicious! The fish fillet batter is thin and crisp, while the fish itself is soft and sweet. It goes so well with a drizzle of fresh squeezed lemon juice and some tartar sauce. Very delicious and so well balanced. I love it! This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye!